Hey everyone, and welcome to Tactical Breach Wizards. Today we are taking a look at the demo for this turn-based tactical puzzle game. Tactical Breach Wizards is a beautiful story-driven game with witty characters and banter. The gameplay offers turn-based mechanics with each of our squad members specializing in different weapons and unique skills. With the Foresight ability we can see what's going to happen once we end our turn and with the Rewind ability we can change the outcome as many times as we want until we have an outcome that we are happy with. Your squad members will gain experience as they go, earning skill points that can be used to upgrade weapons and abilities in various ways. Story-wise, we control Jen, a freelance witch and private investigator. After an unlucky turn on a case, we are at the local police station, Rushwater PD, to inquire about a suspect they have in custody. The same suspect that killed the person we were looking for. Before we can finish though, the station is attacked. It's assumed we are a part of this attack and we have to fight our way out. During this mission, we meet our old friend, San, who is a Navy Seer and has the ability to see into the future, although just a few seconds. San is investigating a greater conspiracy and we are being dragged into it. As it turns out, the suspect we are after is the same suspect the attackers are after. Specific for this video, we are going to dive into the game right after the attack on Rushwater PD. For some background, the suspect that was in custody is a brilliant doctor working for the Druid Mafia, if I remember correctly. Liv is an old lieutenant of Sans who was captured during a mission they were on together. After a lengthy period of time, Liv suddenly reappears but with drastically changed views. Leading the attack on Rushwater PD, it's now believed she's working for one of the largest private military contractors in the world. San believes he's, the one, he's one of the few people in the world who might be able to talk to Liv and get her to stand down. And Jen, having run into a bit of a dry spell in her PI business, quickly joins up with San in order to help him organize his information better and plan the next course of action. As always, I, I'll explain the mechanics once we get into the game. If this is a game you'd like to see more of on the channel, the best way to tell me is to actually watch the video. Leave a like and a comment if you're feeling especially Awesome. Without any further ado, let's try Tactical Breach Wizards. So, in the demo here we have access to, I believe, like five, maybe six missions. We actually start out with the mission with San and Liv, uh, where we see what went wrong and what happened back in the day. And the next mission we do is actually with Jen here at the Rush Water PD. But we are not going to be starting a new game today. We're going to be doing Mission Select and we will be doing Out for Blood. So there'll be a short bit of story here. And uh, as I said, this is right after we have escaped from Rushwater PD. Okay, so we have no idea why Liv took Banks. Banks is the doctor. That's the suspect that we were after as well. At this point, I'd settle for where she took Banks. Oh, I can answer that. Seriously? Give me six newt bones and a vial of her blood and I can scry her location to within three meters. Okay, newt bones sound doable. Yeah, I've got an arrangement with the pet shop downtown. But how do we get hold of her blood? The cops would have taken it when they booked her. Part of a standard DNA log. It'll be at the evidence lockup in Stonecliff. And is that guarded? Heavily, but I know a guy there who owes me. I helped him find his skink last June. As long as they haven't heard about the clusterfuck at Rushwater yet, I bet I can just talk to him. Okay. So we are after some blood so we can locate this banks. Jen, I think they heard about the Rushwater thing. Now they get efficient. Okay, well, we are right into the gameplay here. So, each, uh, each turn, all your characters have one move, one use per turn, and they have one action point. I don't know if the action points, the amount of action points you start with can be man manipulated, but I believe San already... No, maybe not yet, maybe not yet. But I think he will get something that can... Um, that can give a um, an action point to, to, to an ally. So it can be manipulated. We also have mana up here, 
We start with one each, and this is something that can be gained in various ways. We have um, we have some evidence over here, the little blue thing, that'll have water's mana, I believe. Uh, we have a reinforcement door up here as well, and I believe if we seal that, we also get mana, but I'm not 100% on that. Okay, so down here we can see we have our foresight ability, so if I click this, we'll see what happens. They'll kill San and they'll wound Jen. So that is obviously not what we want to do. So we are going to, going to rewind it. So we are back at the beginning of the mission. If I want to move up here, you can see that's a bad idea because he was actually standing ready right here. We can still rewind it and we can do as many actions as we want. And we can still rewind all of them. We can see there's just going to be an extra little bar down here. So if, if I take uh, take San as well and move, now there's three. And we can still rewind everything. So it is very much a puzzle game to try and figure out to do this the best way possible. We have our main objectives up here. We have to knock out all enemies. And we have to seal all reinforcement doors. Now sealing them up here... I. Yes, I think the three here means that uh, there's, uh, there are three reinforcements waiting behind this door. They'll come out one at a time. We can either seal it or we can kill all the reinforcements, whichever comes first. If that is not enough for you, each of your characters will have a confidence goal, which will uh, differ from room to room uh, or zone to zone, I should, uh, uh, as I should say. This is a zone. So once we finish this, we might advance to the next zone if there are more in the mission. So here, for instance, San will get a confidence point if he finishes with all team members at full health. So we basically have to take absolutely zero damage or at least heal it up maybe, but at least zero damage. And Jen, she wants to defend straight two hostiles with Gale Grenades. Uh, let's see, defend straight. I believe that means in this uh, case throw them out of a window which we can actually probably do pretty quickly let's say we move you over here how is that looking uh, not like super well so let's do that let's do something like this so we can grenade I think that'll be good that's Jen's uh, confidence goal done uh, that is excellent. She still has a, a, a either a static blast or a chain bolt here. So two health, two damage. Uh, let's see, what can you do? You have a bolt burst that deals one damage and knockback one. That would kill you because you can you will knock him back. So we could do that. Chain bolt you and you. I th uh, we can actually see that one. We can see this one. Okay. Well, let's rewind then. <coughs> well, you know what? I, I guess if we are going to kill everyone anyway, it doesn't really matter where we stand. So if we do something like this... We still do the Gale Grenade here. Then we Chain Bolt. But now you, we don't kill this one because you only do one. You only do the one damage. Okay. So maybe we don't kill everything in one turn here. It's not really... It's not a goal either, so it doesn't really need to be done. It would just be kind of nice if we could. Yeah, so... Now it says 2 health, 2 damage. Ah, uh, okay, so we can see knockback over there. It pushes the unit this many squares. If they hit a wall, remaining knockback is taking us damage. That's why they're taking two damage, because there's two knockback and they can't move at all. This guy would take one, because he will only be knocked back one. Yes, okay. I'm still thinking we'll do this. No, not like that, actually. Right, it also depends on... 
because the chain this is a chain bolt so it doesn't come from us it only does that in the first time so from this guy we can kill but this guy will be pushed because the bolt is coming from over here i think that's still okay we actually have three targets available here because this is upgraded but we can't hit the same target twice can we no that's fine you will move over then and you will yeah let's grab the intel why not i don't think we're going to use it on this guy but you can then shoot him kill him and then you'll take cover because then this guy can't see anything no actions is being done so the foresight is not uh, not not um, not available so we're just going to enter Okay, let's, uh, let's see here. We can definitely get up here. We can't close the door this turn, but we can definitely get up here. So if you move up here, that's a kill because you do one damage and you knock back one. Let's actually, instead of that, let's move you up here because I do have, no, not, not take cover. I do have a plan with you. Something like that. No, you don't. You don't. Yeah, actually, you don't even do damage. Okay. Yeah, you can't kill this guy. Okay. Actually, if we um, let's try and do something fun here then so if we take Jan here we move him over here let's try this one this is a skill that you use in a direction if anything moves in here he gets shot so if we do something like this you're gonna get pushed into it you're gonna shoot that means you still have an action and you can kill this guy. Perfect. And you can actually use this one again. I don't think it's going to matter. We might as well. If this guy moves over here, then it will matter. If not, then it doesn't really change anything. Yeah, there we go. Okay, there is still one left over here. But what we can do is we can move up and we can seal the door. Yeah, it will gain. A, it will give us mana. That's good. You get pushed into the into the uh, the desk, so you will be dead. Excellent, done. Zone one of three clear. Okay, so there'll be two more zones here. Yes, we will get to actually breach as well in this one. Yes. All right. What are we looking for? A blue folder. A blood's in a blue folder. No, but her file will tell us where they are storing it. Okay, so. Just grab every blue f file I find. Yep, unless your time brain lets you read them instantly or something. I can do one second of reading one second sooner than I otherwise would. That doesn't sound like it's gonna do it. No. Breach? Breach. Okay, so this is the first time we see, uh, see the breach uh, part of it. We can move freely between all the options that we have. In this case, we have two. Uh, let's see what we have. We can check a look. We can take a look at these uh, confidence goals first. So for now, we have San. Let a single teammate perform two actions in one turn. Are we sure you don't have that skill? Time boost. Throw at an ally to give them one extra turn. I don't think I, I, I didn't see this last time, but here we go. That's the thing I was talking about. Deal with all enemies by the end of turn one. Gen. Now this, I don't actually think we can do this at the moment, but when you get introduced to these goals, it also says that it, they might not be possible straight away and it might be something that you, uh, you, you can return with or you, can, you, you have to return to the, to the mission with, with, with upgrades. So for now, I don't think we can do this. I, I, I did take a look at it, but there, I think there are too many enemies. They're too spread out. I think if these blocks hadn't been there then maybe we could have done something but i think for now it's 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 not gonna happen uh, we can try and breach here yeah i think i came to the realization that if 
Jen could have run up here. She might have been able to see enough to actually do some damage and do enough damage to kill everything. But because she can't... Can, uh, we can try and see if we can do something here, but I really don't think so. Yeah, you, you, it's this line right here we need to get up to. What about you? Can you get up there? No, it's the same. So I think if you had had extra move, we would have been able to do it. But for now, we'll have to be content with just getting Sans here. Uh, okay. So what are we going to do first? We could move you over here. So we have two doors of reinforcement. They're not active at the moment, I think, because we haven't breached. Yes, there we go. So there will be a tracker from here and a tracker from here as well next turn. Okay. Can I do this prematurely, I wonder? So you have two actions. Yes. That's good. That's good. So we don't actually have to wait. So we can save... We can save the chain bolt here. And we can actually use static blast twice to destroy these guys. Uh, can we get... We can actually get up there. So we could seal this straight away. Yeah, let's seal that. You're still gonna die. And you're gonna die. That's sound, sounds complete. That's actually not too bad. That's not too bad at all. Uh, let's breach. Let's get you in here because you can take out this guy. Actually, if we rewind, you could get all the way over here. You're not gonna... No, that's... Not do that. What about here? Yeah, you can't see anything because we can also grab the intel this way. We can shoot you and then we can predictive bolt this direction. So if this guy runs any further than, than the first line here, then he's going to be taken out. Yes. Well, he didn't. That's unfortunate. This guy did though. So it wasn't actually a complete waste. That's nice. Okay. So if we foresee, this thing is going to blow up first. So we could move up. Could seal the door. We could shoot this guy. Because you're going to be moved back. So the first thing that's going to happen is the grenades. I would assume, yeah, you're going to die. Good. Yeah, so let's uh, let's leave it at that. That's all the doors sealed as well. That's actually not too bad. That means we might even be able to do it in turn two here. What if we do that? Do you do damage? No. You don't actually do damage. And neither do you. And because of where we are standing, we can't use predictive bolt because we can't use it in a direction where there's an enemy. If we could, maybe we could have pushed this guy all the way over here, but this guy is still here, so that doesn't really matter. Uh, actually, maybe what we can do is still push him over there. Might as well grab the intel. Don't know, I don't know if he's going to die or not, but he's at least going to take damage. Uh, no one is shooting. You'll, you'll be absolutely fine because he's dead. So let's... He will actually die. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Okay, last zone here. Where are you going? Both these overpasses lead to the next building. 
we can do it in tandem. Okay, but you get shot the moment you walk through that door. Oh, good note. Let me breach first. I can take care of, of it from my side. Okay, yeah, so this guy is using overwatch uh, over here. So if we move in, then that is an issue. So we are just going to breach right here. And we actually have some interesting uh, confidence goals here. So with San, we can... We need to cause predictive bolt to fire before the 4C phase. So that means we need to use the uh, use the, the action and then use um, Gen to manipulate a, another enemy into it. And Gen needs to defenestrate three hostiles in one turn. So that is the grenade used somewhere. I think I got that last time, but it was actually not like super easy. In any case, these are just extra goals. They award confidence points or something like that. Let's call them confidence points. And when you, you, you get enough, you can buy alternative outfits for, for your for your characters. So it's, it's nothing gameplay. Uh, it doesn't have an impact on anything other than that your characters can maybe look a little bit cooler. Uh, let's see here. We are gonna, actually we could just, we could shoot you first, but we're gonna def defense rate you. And then we can move up here. Let's breach with you. And you're gonna use laptop to open this door over here. Yep. And because you still have an action and you can actually see this guy, let's shoot him so we avoid San taking three, three damage. Out you go. Okay, nothing is happening, so we are going to end our turn. And I think we are going to prepare for the next turn here. Which means right now we've already used our, our move, so we might as well end our turn. So we can breach and move at the same time. Okay. I think last time I used both these over here and these enemies to try and and get the uh, the confidence goal here for for Jen. So let's do that. Let's do this area, this one first. How are you looking? You are looking like okay-ish. We do that. Can you see him? Yes, you can. Is that enough to kill? Yes. Okay, up you go. Let's grab the intel. We are not gonna breach here yet. We're gonna end turn. And then we see if I throw a grenade here, what's gonna happen? One go out. Okay. Can we change that somehow? We probably could throw the grenades and then we could move in and use the chain bolt on this guy and this, this guy. That would throw them out as well. And I think because we can use it on three targets, we can kill one of these as well and move in with San and kill the other one. Let's, uh, let's try that. So if we throw this straight away... That's one. Then we're gonna breach. We're gonna move in. Chain bolt, we can see him. That's one. That's two. Okay, hang on. Let's... Uh Cancel. We need to do this one first, it looks like. Like that. Like that. Like that. Yes. That's... Uh, that's his one. His done. Um, okay, so we still have... We still have Sans Confidence goal. And I think we can actually do it right now. Because if we move up here... That's gonna be right there, yes. We do time boost on you, give you an extra action. Do this. No, because you uh, you can't move anymore. 
you can't move anymore. So we can't do it that way. That's okay. Maybe we'll get it the next. Uh, maybe we'll get it in the next area, or or maybe we won't. You are probably standing a little bit in the way there. You're actually standing very much in the way there. So much so that we probably have to rewind the entire thing here. Um, yeah, breach. Looks like you have to stand up here, maybe. So if we move in here... Yeah, now you can kill it. Good. Shoot him. And then we can chain bolt this. Okay. Good enough. We'll move up. And we'll prepare to, to breach. Okay. So what do we have? This guy is, is an overwatch. So we definitely want to move in with San to take care of him. Let's do that. Down you go. Oh, you also you're being seen from by that guy, but that's okay. That we can uh, we can take care of. So you shoot. And if you take cover, yeah, this guy, even this guy can see you. That's good. But that's doesn't really matter because we're going to take care of this guy straight away. We'll move in. Blast. And take cover. And my hope is these this guy will move somewhere. And or this guy will move in somewhere where we can then use the, uh, the predictive bolt. You didn't move. That's okay. Um, well... So, yeah, I think we are okay here, actually. Let's uh, do that. Move you up. Use Predictive Bolt here. Move you over. Seal the door. Then just push you back into that. Yep, that's uh, yours ready as well. So everything is uh, a-okay. Use the laptop. And uh, that is done. Mission complete. Very nice. Very nice. At once we shall. Found Banks. She was between Jabber and Hiddle's bottom, logically. We've all found ourselves there. This says her blood sample samples in fridge 5, room 304. So, one floor up. Great, let's go. Uh, okay, well... I thought it would uh, continue. So hopefully the that is here the traffic warlock. I wanted to show this one off as well. Yeah, there we go. Uh, you brought the newt bones. I don't leave the house without six to twenty newt bones. I believe we're actually still in the uh, in the in, in the lockup. Okay, so where is she? She is about a hundred meters east. Did you perform the spell a hundred times too small? No. She's in the next building. And what's that? Controlled substances, I think. Why would they break her out of one police station just to take her to another? I don't know. Wanna go find out? After I realign some time crystals. Yes. Steve, you are sure this is every gram of blue you have? Yep, every seizure in the DSR ends up here. All right, Bori, light it up. All will burn in very mild fire. It is not mild fire. That's a total m misnomer. Misnomer. I don't know what that is. I should not have to take this from a traffic cop. I'm a traffic warlock, and you're a failed arsonist. I'd like to see you untangle the M6 Spaghetti Junction with some lukewarm flames. Lukewarm? Much as I'd love to hear where this clash of the intellectual titans go goes, 
we have a ride to catch. By the way, this is Liv over here. This is the uh, the part the, the previous partner of uh, of of San, and this is the uh, prisoner banks right here that we were after. These characters are two new ones we haven't seen before. Oh, I just realized actually his uh, his warlock staff it's it's a traffic light. I never really saw it before. Now that's that's hilarious. Steve, stick around and make sure your cup pal do, pals don't put a, put this out. Bori, bring banks. Well, that exchange raised a lot more questions than it answered. Is Liv's team burning mana? Why? He sniffs. Not for the smell, I'm guessing. Why do the Rushwater PD even have this much mana? The street value of this must be billions. They are supposed to destroy it all at the end of every month. Maybe Defense told them to... I've heard of I've I've heard of states stockpiling it on the QT. No one has a military use for it yet, but they are all scared someone's gonna find one. That was that fire guy I was telling you about. Oh right, I do remember him now. Yeah, I think actually now that they mention it, he's uh, he is introduced in the uh, in the Rushwater PD mission uh, shortly. So when I said. Fire guy earlier. You didn't think of the guy you know who's permanently on fire? You meet a lot of colorful characters in this line of work. Aren't you unemployed? That's what I mean. So who is he? Bori Kesh, the less lethal pyromancer. I... how, how does that work? I think his flames are like quite hot but not fire hot, you know. Like, you can't go on about your day, but it's more of an aloe vera situation than an impromptu cremation. You look like you want to ask something. Who's the guy in the in the day glow robe? Ugh, that's Steve. Steve Clark, traffic warlock. I keep running into him on my cases, and I always forget what a slimy prick he truly is. Oh, Jen. Shit. Get fucked, Steve. Can we take him? Probably not, but I've been itching to try. How good are you at dodging spectral cars filled with skeleton ghosts? Never made it past regionals. Let's see if that cuts it. Breach. Okay, so we have our traffic warlock. We have a couple of uh, goals as well. Finish with all team members at full health and defense rate Steve Clark traffic warlock. So we need to throw him out of a window. So he's gonna throw some... Uh, sh he's literally throwing spectral cars at us. So we are going to go to each of the sides here to try and get uh, get out of the way. But honestly... We are not really going to do anything to him. Actually, the... We can. He does take one damage there. I don't think we want to do that then. Well, we need to push him anyway at some point. Can we sh shoot him from here? No. But Jen can because she breaches, so she moves. Shoot him further back, yes, and then we move. And then we move up here as well. And since we know there's coming, there's someone coming out of there, we might as well predictive bolt. Let's get rid of one of the... Um, one of the reinforcement at least. So we can foresee, we see what happens. And he's gonna shoot some spectral cars at us. And that is just fine. Your team has one action unused. That's absolutely fine. Okay, he's a goner. We can get out of the way here, so that's good. If we get out of that... We can kill you. So let's do that. Now, actually, could we... I think we could actually do it right now. So if we do that... And then shoot you. Yeah, then you're out. Boom. And we'll, we'll see the door. Right, there's a door left over here as well. Fair enough. And this one up here is a door as well we need to seal. Well, we there's one coming here, so if we're lucky, he runs south. 
Well, he didn't. That's completely fair. But, oh, we have a an enforcer coming out here next turn. That's fair. Why don't we... We can get over here and seal the door. Or we can predictive bolt right now and make sure that this enforcer doesn't do anything. And then we seal that door next turn. Yeah, I think that's uh, I think that's preferable to be honest. These are th this is just a tracker. These are pretty easy to deal with, but I believe the enforcers are the ones that has um, what's it called? It has four health and armor, so I think this is actually uh, preferable. Yeah, you are a goner, and that's a that's a uh, cooldown on this one as well. So you can shoot and kill. Yes. And then you can hopefully move up. Yes. Grab the intel. Seal the door. You'll move up. Seal the door. And that should be all done. Yes. And that's actually going to be the demo. But there's a, um, a nice little uh, little, little extra thing to, to showcase some, uh, some skills that will be in the full version here. Away we go on our little uh, on our little broom. Hopefully, we'll actually have access to it here. I hope it's part of this mission. Defeat Steve Clark, traffic warlock in conversation. Well, he certainly has some difficult self-examination to do in the days and weeks to come. No, we don't actually. Well, there's a. Uh, I don't think there's any way that I can uh, I can actually show that because yeah it's not accessible to us. That's a shame. There were some um, Indian survey. I don't I don't think it's that. If I can continue, what happens then? Yeah, there we go. Thanks for playing the demo. So we have uh, three different things here that we can uh, we can uh, we can we can play a little with. With we can hack some turrets. Let's try that. So these are small little uh, small little uh, scenarios where you get like a turn or two maybe to 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 have fun with some things. This seems stacked against us. It's fine. Their control terminals are all right here and locked in. Wait, what? Okay, so we need to hack some turrets. And we would like to not die in the process. Um, let's see. We do have these goals as well. We can, I guess, we can try and 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 uh, and deal with it. Finish all team members at full health, or and deal with all enemies by the end of turn one. And um, let's see. What can we do with Jen? You do have your chain bolt. You have three health, which is a problem. We can take care of you. Not you. Oh, you have. You all have three health. That is a problem. If we do that, 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 I mean, that's some health taken away from them. Huh? That's actually. Uh, that's actually two enemies gone. Okay. So we're gonna hack the turret. Can't believe I'm hallucinating about programming. You're gonna take cover. You'll do the same. Honestly, deal with all enemies by the end of turn one. And this must count, right? To, to, to use the turrets for it. That must count. In either case, it doesn't really matter too much, but he is gonna die. Boom. There we go. Deal with all enemies by the end of turn one. I don't know if actually if the if the turrets count as that as well. They they might actually have counted. I guess they are enemies, so. Okay, then you have defense straight yourself. And now we get access to another skill as well. This doesn't seem like a situation I would get myself into. We boxed you in. Did you though? 
This isn't even movable cover. It looks like it should be. Okay. So we only have Jen here. Deal with all the enemies by the end of turn one. But here we get access to the broom breach, which is extremely nice. Um, let's see here. So we could throw a grenade up here. And then we can shoot you. That's all these taken care of. Yeah, I think that's that's probably the plan here, the plan. Boom, out you go. Static blast. And then we're gonna broom breach. Hang on, no, because now we don't have... Now we can't deal with you, so we are not gonna do that. What about chain bolt? How are you looking? What happens if I do that? I think you just push him in, right? Well, you did get uh, get on out of dodge. Actually, hang on. If I broom breach here, will that actually push you out? Because then our plan would work. It would actually. It oh, it does actually. Okay, well then that's what we're gonna do. Out you go. Out you go and broom breach. I saw someone playing the full version that looks extremely fun to play with. I hope you can see, you know, how many different ways that there are to, to, to do these things. Move, let's get up there, and let's use the laptop. Because, why not? Not much else to do, we are done, we only get the one turn anyway. And lastly, we get access to a shi to, to shield slam. That is actually a new character that we don't have, we haven't played at all. Oh hey, who are you? I'm not narratively relevant yet. Okay, I'll back you up anyway. We can find out why later. Okay, so we have Dal, and his uh, his special thing is, or his confidence goal is, have Dal deal a total of twelve knockback. Um, so he has the throw riot block, which is a block he literally just throws and then there's a block. Uh, he can swap, so he can switch places with an enemy. And he can sensor slam. Uh, hit an adjacent target for significant damage, then knock them back. Three damage and one knockback. Okay, so if we try that. Get whacked. Then we have a charge as well, which we can't do, of course, because it costs an action. But if we charge here, for instance... Makes a lot of sense, right? Um, so, okay, so let's see. We have access to San as well. He does have a time boost, so we could give him another action, which is actually pretty, pretty darn good. Honestly, let's just do that straight away. What happens if we do that? Nothing, because he's way, way too tough. So we're gonna move down here then. Or maybe not. Uh, okay, what can we do here? You are shooting. Suppose we could lock you in. Then you can't do anything. Could charge you. You're not even dead. Wow. Stunned, stability reduced incoming knockback by this much, armor incoming direct damage is reduced by this much. Wow, you are a bastard, sir. You could still charge him again. That apparently did nothing. Yeah, deal with all the enemies by the end of turn one. Yeah, that is not gonna happen. Not sure how we could even do that with our current setup. So if we waltz up here and slam you. Actually, 
then we waltz up here and slam you. No, because you still do, you you still only knock back one. Okay. Let's uh, let's rewind that. Huh? I have a I I I kind of have a crazy idea here. Let's uh, let's try and do something like that. And let's charge. Boom! Out you go. Let's swap. And let's charge. That was kind of cool, right? Have one turn of fun with Dial's charge ability. That was kind of cool. And we can still uh, we, we 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 can still move. Um, we can do something like. What what will happen? Nothing actually will happen. We can still throw a block, and just because we can, we can kind of do that, and maybe move down here and use the predicted bolt. That means you're dead. You know what? All things considered, that was not such a bad turn. Have fun with Dal's charge ability, and we did that. It was not too bad. That has uh, that has been a look at the tactical breach wizards. I think. This has great potential to be super fun. I had a lot of fun with it. I love tacticals like this, um, uh, tactical turn-based, and I love the puzzle aspect in this. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, take care.